Hi and welcome to this new quick comparison. Today we will be comparing the Revolve Plus against the BNO A1. Yesterday I uploaded my video comparing the both Revolve against the A1, so the regular Revolve. And many people in the comments seem to not like the bows for the sound, so they criticize it pretty badly. They said, yeah, only bass, out of control, no treble, um, and the A1 is so much better despite being cheaper. Of course, this is sort of true, because the A1 sounds way better with jazz music, so way better treble extension, clearer, more spacious mids, and also the bass, which is much deeper than on the bows. But then simply listen to modern music and somehow get used to the bows, then you suddenly start to appreciate it even more than the A1. So the bass is really nice, deep, although not as deep as on the A1, but very kicking, very punchy, a lot of fun to listen to, I think. So no one really honored this, they all just criticized the bows, but in my opinion it really offers some nice bass, even to about 80% volume with close to no reduction, so this is a really nice speaker. But many people seem to like clear sound with um, all tracks, so today I wanted to take out the Bose Revolve Plus and see how it compares. Of course this is um, yeah, even more unfair because the Revolve Plus is I think $150 more expensive here in Europe, but still maybe some of you are interested in how it sounds compared to the A1, so today we will do this. And also keep in mind, um, the speakers inside of my room sound way stronger than they actually do outside. So for example, if you compare the normal Bose Revolve and the A1 outside and you go two meters away, you won't notice any of the deep bass from the A1. So the advantage is already gone, while you notice this 70, 80 hertz or 90 hertz bass of the Bose, which is pushed forward, much more outdoors. So it will sound a bit more powerful outdoors. Although indoors the A1 has a huge advantage in bass because it reaches much deeper, but also with all of those artifacts. So now please put up your headphones and we will focus on the Bose, um, Bose Soundlink Revolve Plus and the BNO A1. Complicated names here.
small clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me now i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make
So this is it from the sound comparison. I of course hope you enjoyed the results and you could decide which one you like more. For me personally, I definitely preferred the Bose with any track here. Okay, there were some exceptions, so for example, I think it was that one jazz track, or no, it was this one pop track called Faster Car. This is where the A1 really shines, this nice sparkling treble and this nice deep bass. But the bass only is good um, as long as it isn't um, distorted or artifacted, you know, because um, it usually has some artifacts with uh, one of the house music, which were very heavy, very heavy kicks, because I um, especially used those here because I wanted to show off how good the bows can handle those. You could really hear that the A1 sort of mixed up the track because there was some bass echo, like the driver would move um, after the kick. So there was one kick, but the B&O's driver continues on moving. This is how it sounded, so totally out of control, while the bows really performed nicely up to 80%. It sounds totally nice, totally bassy, totally kicking. Of course, after 90% or 80% even, you will get some heavy um, compression and, um, I don't know, swallowing of bass kicks, which is horrible. On maximum volume, you could hear it was a bit louder than the A1, but it sounded crappy, almost like a UE Mega Boom, although the Mega Boom still is the king of bad. Um, yeah, although um, the Bose uh, has the bigger driver, it somehow cannot handle very high volumes, but I would also say that it is loud enough to make a little party in your garden. So um, just, um, I don't know, turn it down two notches and you will get normal compression on max and um, you, will, you will be loud enough. So as loud as A1, just with more compression and when you turn it max, so two notches more, um, you will get um, a useless sound from the Bose. But otherwise, I would say that the Bose is a pretty great speaker. I am super, I don't know, impressed by it because you can see the JBL Charge 3 is about the same size. They are yeah, almost the same thickness. The Bose is a bit thicker. Um, the Bose also is a bit heavier, but you can see the JBL is a bit higher and I think you can um, transport them or carry them as easily as the other. Um, so yeah, I think it is pretty impressive. I mean the JBL isn't as loud, also has a lot of intermodulation at max and on normal volumes you can forget the charge. The Bose really had some nice mids even compared to the A1 and also travel wasn't that far off. The uh, Bose Revolve without the Plus always sounded a little bit, um, I don't know, hollow, a bit covered while this still, I don't know, it sounds a bit more hi-fi, a bit more open, almost comparable to a A1 of course with a way nicer bass in my opinion. So if you now don't like the Revolve Plus, you are a real BNOA one lover, but for me the Revolve Plus definitely won here. Um, yeah, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Until then, have a great time and bye bye.